Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio Film Connection and welcome back to another Logic Pro X sound design tutorial. Now in this video, we're gonna learn how to make some tom-toms. So let's go ahead and begin. First thing we wanna do is go to our instrument rack and select an ES2 synthesizer. Awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the side. We're gonna go to our factory default and select our tutorial settings, go up to our analog saw, and we're gonna hear what this sounds like right now. Okay, so obviously it just sounds like a sawtooth uh, waveform. Let's go ahead and change this around a bit though. We're going to make it sound like some really cool tom-toms. So we're going to select mono. Our voices are going to go down to one. We're going to select our filter reset button. Make sure that's on. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and close oscillator number one. Cool. Uh, we're going to go over to our cut and bring this all the way down. We're going to go to a resonance, bring that all the way up. We're going to go to our... Uh, effects section, add a little bit of distortion. That should be fine around here. Bring this down a little bit. If you saw how I made a kick drum, uh, this is kind of similar to that. Okay, so a lot of the first steps are very similar. We're gonna go over to our router now. We're gonna go ahead and turn off target, uh, you know, this router one and two right here, actually two and three. Off and off, cool. Uh, this we're going to go ahead and leave as is, but we're going to bring this down to around 20, maybe 26. There we are. Cool. So we're pretty much done with all this section right here. Next, we're going to go to this uh, waveform and uh, select a downward slope. Now we're going to go ahead and play around with envelope number two. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like so far. It's probably going to sound like a kick or something. All right, cool. Uh, and that's right. Let's go ahead and bring our sign level up. Awesome. We're gonna bring our analog all the way down. That's fine. Let's go ahead and play with our decay a bit. Bring the sound of it. I'm gonna leave it around 65 for right now. I might go back to it later. Next, I'm gonna to go to our release and bring this down a bunch. I'm gonna leave that around 18 for right now. Next, I'm gonna move over to envelope number three and go to our decay and bring this down. That's fine. Go to our sustain and bring this down a bunch. Okay, cool. Now it's sounding a little bit more like a tom. Let's go ahead and play with our release a little bit. So it's sounding kind of percussive there, which is good. Let's go ahead and bring our attack just a, a little bit higher, around 2.7 or so. Cool. So this is the exact sound that we want. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make this uh, an octave lower or something like that, you can do that. So now it sounds more like tom-toms, which is pretty cool. Now I created a melody, if you uh, notice right here down at the bottom. Uh, and what's great with these types of toms is that you can create uh, very simple melodies to go along with your song. So let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. And it's always okay to play around with your envelopes a little bit, uh, just to experiment with your sound and see if you like it. Uh, but pretty much I like it exactly the way it is, and that's how you would make some tom-toms in Logic Pro X using specifically uh, the ES2 synthesizer. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below, and like and favorite and share this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.